Clear out a little space on the floor and grab a mat, grab a towel, whatever you have handy to you. Let's get going. So just flip it right out there. And from here, just drop yourself down onto all fours, onto your hands and knees. Keep your abs nice and tight. Drop your elbows to the ground and point your palms to the ceiling. Lift your right heel and extend that right leg all the way out. And you want to dorsiflex that toe. You want to pull it down toward the ground. Lifting through your butt, you want to lift straight up, straight through. And it's a smooth motion. Now, you don't want to roll through your hips. It's not about a hip action. You just want to lift up and then down, right through your glutes. The leg doesn't have to go much higher than your hip, and you don't want to create a lot of lower back motion, so you're doing this arching thing. It's not about arching through your lower back. It's literally about holding yourself still and letting the long lever of the leg work your glutes. So give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold it right in, about halfway up. Not all the way up, about halfway. You want to bring that knee under you and then kick it right back out, moving it right through, all the way through your hip. Now, and also, you may notice that if you're leaning a lot onto one knee, try to balance yourself out by readjusting your elbows, bringing them back underneath you, and putting more pressure forward on you if you need to. Take some of the pressure off your left hip and your left knee. Press all the way through. And now from here, to really focus on the repetitions of the motion, just go to halfway it. So don't come all the way in, don't go all the way out, and just half the routine up. Give me 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then hold it all the way in. Now the knee is bent, but it's off the ground. You can see it's just sort of hanging here. From here, I want you to open that knee out, and through. What you're doing is you're working your glute medius. The middle part of that butt is opening it out and in. Hmm. Trying not to rotate too much through your hips where you're opening your hips up and then dropping them down. Holding those hips in one place, keeping strong in through your abdominals. So give me 10 more here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and then set the knees all the way down. If you're feeling pressure in one knee or the other, you need to double up that mat. At any time, be sure, pause. Take the chance, double up that mat, or take a break if you need to, hit it back, you'll resume, catch right up to it. So extend that left leg all the way down, drop that, those left toes to the ground. Again, staying out of your shoulders, just resting on your elbows, your palms are up. Press straight up and straight down to that left heel. One side is always weaker than the other, almost always. If you're feeling a little weaker on one side than the other, totally fine, totally normal. Just work right through it. Give me 15, 9, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Reaching back with that heel, really feeling it in your butt. My goal is to have you walking around with a limp for a little while. Keep going. Two, one more, hold it right there. Again, not all the way up, not all the way down, halfway in between, and just bring that knee under you, kick it out. And all the focus is on your glutes. No motion through your lower back, no motion through your upper back. Your abs are staying tight. The, the, the motion in one, one direction, on this linear plane, kicking straight back toward the back wall. Whatever wall, kicking that foot back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then small pulses. So make it really tight and small. Control the motion. Very, very small, small movement. 10, 9, 8, oh, 7, 6, 5, burning, 3, 2, Hold it all the way down. Again, let that knee just sort of dangle there. Open and close to the outside. Try not to rotate too much, too much through your hips. Oh. Mm. Working that glute medius on the left side. 
If you start feeling like you're opening up those hips too much, well, don't go up quite so high. If you're going way up here and you're getting all into that other hip, don't do it. Just go about halfway. You'll still feel it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and bring it all the way down and just slide yourself all the way through. And now we're going on to our back side. So what I want you to do is to separate your feet about hip width apart, right here. And then take your fingers and place them right inside of the heels of your shoes, just like this. You want to bring yourself all the way up onto your shoulder blades. So walk your shoulders all the way underneath you. If you need to, if your hips, if your if your quadriceps are too tight, just let your fingers go and walk your feet out away from you a little bit. You want to really pull up through your butt. All the motion is going up and into the buttock muscles, into your into your pelvis. So what you want to lift from here, you just want to press straight up, straight down. It's a very small motion, right? You're not pressing way up and way down. It's a small, small motion. And then from here, I want you just to increase the pace. So press, press. You're pushing through the heels of your feet, really tightening your butt up. Oh, oh. Do 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, but we're not done. Hold all the way up, hold it. So you're still squeezing through your butt. Oh, it's all burning in here. Touch your knees together. Just touch, 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 touch. Last, 25, 24, 23, 22. Think about elevating your hips even higher. Push up through your heels, push your hips up as high as you possibly can. That's 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and hold all the way up. Knees are slightly in as close as you can get them to be. Pulling up through your butt. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then drop all the way down slowly. Bring your knees into your chest. Hug them in just for a moment to stretch out your butt. Oh my goodness. And then hang on to one leg. Let it bring you all the way up. And there you go. For more, to add on to this, try the ultimate workout number one, ultimate workout number two. Thanks for joining me. Have a great one.